We've got a switch light, and yeah, something's missing. So for the left joystick, it's actually easier to remove than the right one. Because on the left side, you've got this little breakout board which connects to the main motherboard with this like ribbon cable that goes under here. And when you have to change the right side joystick, you actually have to take out the motherboard and do all this stuff. So we're going to remove all this section and replace the stick. Old stick, new stick. Alright, we've got that all back together, so that's looking good. I'm just going to clean up this human slime here. Ah, oh, that's better. And for those of you that were paying attention, yes, I did plug it in. Now let's reassemble. Alright, so that stick is working perfectly as you can see. However, one thing I've noticed is that the right stick, although it's working, it's kind of wobbly. So if you have a look, I just lightly press on this. It wobbles around a fair bit, whereas brand new ones are kind of a bit stiffer. So I think I'm going to replace this one as well, and I'm going to do it on the house because it's actually her son's birthday coming up. So let's get it done. So as I said, we do have to take the entire motherboard out to get to this lower section here. We're almost all the way back together now after replacing that stick, and of course I'm not going to leave the old thermal paste behind, so let's get rid of that. Beautiful, nice and clean. Okay, so we've got everything else plugged in, the fan, the game card reader, headphone jack, added a nice little dollop of thermal paste there, some uh, new MX4, and now we can put the heatsink on and retest this thing. Back together enough to test, so let's power this thing on. And we have a perfect working joystick that requires no calibration. And there it is, all done. Two joysticks replaced, ready for the kid's birthday. techbuddy.net.au